for now, this is going to be our last stop in our tour of all 31 NHL cities. We're off to Winnipeg, Manitoba to visit Bell MTS Place. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to Rinks Around the League. I'm your host Jeff Nash, and on this episode we're off to Winnipeg, Manitoba to visit Bell MTS Place, home of the Winnipeg Jets. Construction of Bell MTS began April 16th, 2003 and opened November 16th, 2004 at a cost of $133.5 million and is owned by True North Sports and Entertainment. And the rink was privately funded by True North Sports and Entertainment. Its seating capacity is 15,321. Its scoreboard measures 22 by 17 feet. Naming rights details are unknown, but the deal has been extended through until 2021 with the option of extending it to the 2030 season. Secondary market ticket price ranks them ninth in the league at $170. Now the site where Bell MTS currently sits was the site of the former Eaton Center, which was a popular landmark in Winnipeg. And it got some negative feedback in the public when it had to be demolished to make way for the construction of Bell MTS. Now that Eaton store was closed for some time before it was finally decided to convert that land into Bell MTS Center to help revitalize Winnipeg's struggling downtown core. Now one detail that was integrated into the Bell MTS design was the red bricks used on the outside that was meant to pay homage to that Eaton store. Once built, it actually housed the Manitoba Moose of the AHL that played in the ring from 2004 to 2011. Then on May 19th, 2011, it was announced that Mark Chipman and True North purchased the Atlanta Thrashers and moved the franchise back to Winnipeg. Now longtime hockey fans will know the Winnipeg already had an NHL franchise, which got relocated to Phoenix in 1996. That Jets team, however, played in the now demolished Winnipeg Arena. When the purchase of the Thrashers was announced, Bell MTS underwent renovations to help bring the facility up to NHL standards. Now, Bell MTS is the smallest rink in the league in terms of capacity at 15,321. But don't be fooled by its small size. It's one of the loudest barns in the NHL. Now, what are some of the things I like about Bell MTS? Well, some rinks around the league just have a perfect marriage to the city and the fan base. And to me, Bell MTS is the perfect rink for Winnipeg. Now Winnipeg gets a bad rap for being a cold place that nobody wants to visit. But once you're there, honestly, there is a certain charm to that city. Now the rink and the city doesn't pretend to be anything else other than a friendly place to watch hockey. Unless you're the visiting team, that is. That rink is a blast to watch hockey in. But don't think it's full of nice, polite Canadians. They're known to have the best chirps and chants in the league. This is icing against Winnipeg. The Morgan Franklin pivotal play. The lead now let's talk about the in-game presentation. They actually have one of the most unique scoreboards in the league. They actually have a Winnipeg Jets logo up inside the scoreboard. You'll see a similar one in Toronto at Scotiabank Arena, but the Winnipeg Jets were the first ones to have one of those in the NHL. Now the design of the building is really simple. It's designed to be very intimate and loud, and you'll notice that as soon as you go to a game there. It's located right downtown in the core of Winnipeg, so you're really close to all the hotel, restaurants, and bars. But overall, my favorite thing about the rink is just its overall charm. There's not a ton of bells and whistles about this rink. It's just a great small market rink that's loud and packed with passionate locals. Now, is there anything I don't like about Bell MTS? Well, even though it suits its small city surroundings, it's still a small rink. Now, it's built on a pretty small footprint, so there's not much around the rink itself in terms of outdoor plazas and outdoor space. So you are in Winnipeg, so I'm not sure if you want to be outside the rink for very long in the middle of the hockey season. It does get pretty cold. But Jets fans, you're a pretty passionate bunch. Let me know your thoughts on Bell MTS. Is there anything you would want to add to that rink? And that does it. That is all 31 NHL cities. Woo! Cheers. Now that that wraps up our last NHL city, what's next for rinks around the league? Well, now we get into the fun part in all this. The next video I'll be releasing is my top 10 list. I will name my top 10 NHL rinks around the league. Now, obviously this is gonna be my own personal top 10, but don't worry, you'll have your say. To have your say on which one of these rinks is gonna be tops in the league, Head over to my social at underscore the rinks on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. There you'll get details where you guys will get to vote on which ones will be ranked the best. Of course, if you need a little bit of a refresher or you're just new to the series, 
head over to my YouTube channel and watch all of the different videos on every single rink around the league. And hey, if you're a fan of hockey or sporting venues, I hope you've enjoyed this journey along with me and I hope you've learned something along the way. It's been a long ride, but now that I've done my tour of all 31 NHL cities, I hope to publish some future episodes of the arena construction progress in Seattle and in Belmont Park in New York. Head over to social to get updates on future episodes. And of course on YouTube, help me out, subscribe, ring that bell, and hopefully we see you again real soon. Thanks for watching everyone. Oh, I think I earned this one. <laughs> Cheers. That's good.